Hello and welcome to another Zach Carnage video and yes, we finally did it. We hit 750 subscribers so thank you so much. This is absolutely awesome. I never thought the channel would actually get this far. It's kind of ridiculous to think that starting out as one terrible video of a guy failing at a trampoline and one fairly okay video of some piano tutorials we've come this far. So thank you so much for all of your support, all your comments, views, subscriptions, everything you do for the channel is absolutely awesome and really key for helping me progress. Thank you so much. So um, this video is going to have a few parts. I'm going to be talking a bit about what's going on in my life at the moment. We've got YEX, we've got university stuff, uh, starting up a trading card game society here. Um, but obviously the first thing to do is, of course, to get through the giveaway because I said I would be giving some stuff away and the uh, main thing that I'll be giving away is for you lucky uh, trading card fans is this Fire Fist deck core that I have here. It's, uh, it's pretty extensive, it has pretty much everything you'll need, you'll just need to add a few staple cards and I can go through that in just a minute. The first thing I'll do is I'll let you know how to enter so you don't have to watch the rest of the video, you can just enter straight away. So all you need to do to enter is one, you need to be subscribed and two, you need to comment saying that you want to enter. Um, everyone's names will be compiled into a list and then that list will use a random number generator to pick uh, a person from the list. You can gain an additional set of five more entries. Um, the way that you do that is you produce your own video. Uh, it has to have a link to this video somewhere in the description or in, um, in an annotation or something like that, but that will get you six total entries into the competition. The remaining four, what you'll have to do is head on to the Facebook page and like that, uh, so that will get you ten entries into the competition, if you want to do that. Of course, you don't have to do that, you could just literally comment, and then you still get entered, and you've still got a pretty good chance, considering how many entries we're going to get. So, um, next I'm going to go through the uh, contents of this little deck core. Um, I'm not going to put set up a tripod or anything, I'm just going to go through it. One, Vulcan the Divine, in Secret Rare. One Super Rare Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Horse Prince, one Ultra Rare Celestial Wolf uh, Lord Blue Sirius, then of course you get Lion Emperor, you get one copy of Cardinal, and you get two copies of Tiger King. Uh, Tiger King's pretty easy to pick up anyway, so you know you should be able to pick up a third copy pretty easily. Three copies of Super Rare Bears, uh, we have two copies of Secret Rare Wolf Barks, one Gorilla, uh, one Dragon one caribou, then you get three copies of spirit for your rank three engine to go with the leopards, and of course for the amazing combos, uh, the double rooster, because <laughs> one of the most broken cards ever that you, is still at like three, so play it. Uh, three copies of red resonator for the uh, new version of the deck that people are playing in the OCG. Um, I know how relevant it is over there, so I wanted to be able to give away a deck that wouldn't uh, suffer when the meta changes, which it will do very soon. So having all of this, like, the Fire Fist deck core should mean that you'll be able to compete anyway, uh, and you shouldn't have to worry too much. Uh, then we have three copies of Tensu, uh, one copy of Rekindling, three copies of Tenki, obviously, <laughs> playing Fire Fist. Uh, double Gyoku, because Gyoku is actually seriously good. Um, it's searchable, slightly less good than Goseka, but it's searchable, you know. For the remaining three spells that we got in this core, we have uh, three copies of Resonator Call, uh, and then we have two copies of Tencent. Um, so anything else that you need for the deck core should be really easy to pick up, uh, so you shouldn't have any problems with playing it. Uh, it all comes in red matte sleeves from Ultra Pro. Um, and I should have the remaining sleeves lying around, so you, you'll be able to put that entire deck into it. Keep in mind it has been played a little bit, so um, you, the sleeves aren't brand new, but they, they all work perfectly fine, there's no issue with them. But that's the prize that you can win if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan! But wait, there's more! If you, say, are a, uh, don't know, maybe a Warhammer fan? Maybe. Um, there's the chance for you to win a different prize. Uh, so these are both for first place, so if you're first place and you're into Yu-Gi-Oh! This is for you. If you're first place and you're into Warhammer, then what I'll be doing is I'll be giving away something that's basically equivalent. Any uh, any one Warhammer item from Games Workshop, uh, up to the price of £30, could be yours. Again, enter exactly the same way. Once the competition is over, I will contact the winner to make sure that they get everything. But if they don't respond within two weeks, then I will repeat the, uh, the random number generation so that we can actually have a winner. <laughs> Need to be able to give away stuff to somebody, right? Um, so that's pretty much all I'm going to say for the competition. Um, it will be running from the upload of this video to mon one month 
after. So hopefully if I'm uploading it today, that means that the competition will end at midnight on the 22nd of November. Um, so, you know, plenty of time to enter. I mean, I, do I really need to give you longer? Probably not. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the competition. Um, I really hope you guys enter and you can win something good because I want to be able to give back to the community that's helped get me so far. It's just really helpful to know that you guys are out there. So, yeah. Thanks, thanks for watching. And if all you cared about the competition, then thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Everyone else, let's, let's just get through some of the stuff. I have a list here. Because I am incredibly organised, obviously. So, giveaway, done. Um, yeah, I thought I'd just talk a little bit about university life. So, if you have been following the channel for a while, you know that I've ended up at the University of Oxford, which is great, but also incredibly tough the whole time. So, like, it's awesome to be able to study in such a prestigious place, which is fantastic. But of course, with that comes a level of stress. Um, so the stress will sometimes get in the way of the work, uh, sometimes it will get in the way of the videos, you know, um, but hopefully I'll be able to keep uploading decent content for all of you guys. Uh, I've got a few ideas for some videos I want to do slightly later this year. Um, there's the scripts for this thing called The Jury, which I'm currently working on, uh, which is going to be like a little random video with just some cool effects and some crappy effects mixed in there. Um, there's also going to be uh, just a few other random projects coming up, and of course there will be some more of those epic style duels that I've been doing recently with uh, all of the special effects and stuff, because I really enjoy that. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy that stuff too. Um, at the university we don't actually have a, uh, a Yu-Gi-Oh society as such, nor do we have much in terms of a Yu-Gi-Oh community. There are a few people like around um, so we've got a couple of people who will do yu gi and things, but it's not like a huge amount, so we don't have an integrated uh, tournament set here. Um, so what I've done this year is I've started up um, what will eventually be called the Oxford University Trading Card Game Society, but for annoying registration reasons it's currently called the Trading Card Game Society. Um, but we will end up having all sorts of events. Uh, we're running our next event uh, on the, at the end of uh, October, which is going to be awesome. Um, it would be just, it's just a middle of the day sort of thing, so it'll be pretty casual. We won't have any problems with Halloween, hopefully. Don't know if anyone's going to be dressed up in a Halloween costume. It'd be pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, so we'll be running that event, and hopefully I'll be able to get a few videos of matches from that as well, so we can show you a bit more variety in players and uh, drafting stuff, which would be pretty interesting to see uh, drafting duels, I think. Because um, I know like the majority of videos that you'll get online will be meta decks playing meta decks and that's not really that interesting is it? Uh, I've also <laughs> preemptively um, and going completely against what I just said uh, I've printed off a uh, complete uh, deck for Magis Spectres um, before Pendulum Magicians because I just want to test them and see how they are so I will be doing a few videos on that uh, and this weekend is YEX London um, so you may have heard of Yu-Gi-Oh! Extravaganza, you may not uh, essentially, it's just an event running at the London Comic Con, uh, which I'll be going to with a few other people. Um, the plan is to enter a few tournaments there, play a few games. I'm currently thinking that I will take my Clifford deck, because it's really the most competitive deck I have. Uh, I also have Performage Dolls, but they're not as good. They're just not as good. Um, so Clifford's uh, probably what I'm going to take. I'm going to try and enter a WCQ, see if I can get in early. Uh, but that's basically the plan. Uh, and if I can do that, it would be great. It'd be cool to go around Comic Con as well, just see some really cool stuff. If there's anything that you think I really need to see, uh, let me know. Um, I'm really hoping that Tom Scar will be there because I'd love to meet Tom Scar. It'd be pretty awesome. Uh, if you don't know him, then you probably aren't much of a fan of uh, British comedy on YouTube because he's pretty famous here. Um, but yeah, he produces a lot of cool videos. You've probably heard of Asda movie by now. Um, and the other thing I wanted to talk about was the potential of a 40k match with Jason Pryor. Yes, Jason Pryor, if you're watching this, I challenge you to a duel, not a duel, to a 40k battle. There's no technical term for it, really, is there? It's battle? But, um, yeah, so, uh, I'm hoping that Jason and I can meet up at some point. There is a games workshop here in Oxford. Uh, I brought some random army stuff. It's not really a, a full army. Uh, but I can definitely make an army out of it. It's got most of the components of um, some previous ultimate army lists that I've mentioned before. Uh, so I'm hoping that we'll be able to have a game at some point. I can get a bat rep up for you guys. Because uh, 
Bad reps really were something that I used to do quite a lot of, and I haven't had the chance because the university gets in the way, and I didn't have any of my Warhammer stuff here. So I had trading cards instead. So that's that's why the views have changed what they were. That's why the videos have changed what they consist of. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get that video up for you as well. Um, and, you know, thanks as always for watching and for subscribing. You 750 beautiful people, you. I think it's actually at 754 now. Where are these people from? Why are they subscribing to this random guy's YouTube channel? Who knows? I don't. Um, but thanks for watching. If you have any comments or suggestions that you would like to leave, please feel free to leave them in the comments section down below. It's, it's down here under my shirt. Uh, down there is where you can write all of your incredibly nerdy things or incredibly cool things um, about my videos and you can tell me exactly what I want to hear. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. Enter the competition before it's too late! And uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.